what's up youtube welcome back to today's video and today it's, it's pretty sunny out but and it's not sunny but the forecast is weird um making me squint my eyes but today we are gonna go check my crawdad traps i put one out for us today or yesterday night put one out and the uh the catfish that we caught on last video uh i put in i put it in there so we're gonna see how how many crawfish i got and the spot that I got went to was a spot where I known uh, you catch little baby crawdads, and I'm trying to catch little crawdads to use for like fishing bait. So that's what my goal is to go. I'm hoping to get about five, ten maybe, but maybe just probably gonna get one or two. But I just want to try to go find out. Take you guys along with me. See you guys whenever I get there. All right, everybody. So last two two weeks ago. We went and planted our food plots. This food plot right here, a food plot down there, and a food plot right up here. This is our clearing side food plots. And we planted soybean and clover right here. And if you guys can see, it's starting to come up all through. And hopefully this brings in a bunch of deer for our deer season. But if you guys just look, it's, it's, it's grown so much. I guess I just wanted to show you guys that before we made it to the spot where I set the car out traps. catfish floated it up to the top i hope i got something but i, I kind of don't think i did because how the catfish is floating the fish or the crawfish aren't really going to come in but i i don't really like getting out of the side by side so all i gotta do is just open the door step one foot down scrap the rope pull it up well, there's two I don't know if you guys seen that, but there's two crawl ads in here. Let me set you guys down. Let me get this. All right, guys. So here are the catches for today. And there's tiny, tiny, tiny little crawfish. Or crawl ads, however you guys like to say it. See them? Tiny. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with them. All See right, guys. everybody. Here are the crawfish. Right there, if you guys can see them. Pretty good. They're small, they're gonna be perfect for fishing or whatever we're gonna use them for. So here is what we are putting them in. This is what I'm using right now for crawfish. This is my crawfish pond. It's really mossy. I just cleaned it a few days ago. Here's one of my crawdads. This one, and here's my biggest one. Those are the tails from the last video. And so these are gonna be good. I had some little ones like this, like I had like five in here, and then I had a bluegill, and they started eating them up. And then there's one of them that are still in here that grew. So here we go, first one. It's going in. There it goes. And then second one. Second one. It's going in. Okay, so I'm gonna find some of the, the little one that I grew in here. I put some rocks in here because I like sitting underneath rocks. It's like they're really gentle to me now. All that. Ow! Never mind, I like They're not gentle. Okay, so here's the one that grew. It's right. He's right there. I think that's him. 
Maybe not. It might be, might not. Or he might be underneath here. But I'm pretty sure that's the one. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a big like and subscribe. And I can make more videos on my pool pond. And I'm debating on building a fish pond. So leave a like and subscribe for that video. And see ya.